Hello and welcome to Crystal Communications. My name is JD and this is the monthly reading that we do with the Wild Unknown deck. We find out who your spirit animal is. I'm seeing a zebra and I'm seeing a hawk. <laughs> so we'll see if either of those come out. But the hawk is very direct. It's like you've made this decision, you got your eye on the prize, and the zebra is uh, taking you into um, a new reality. It sort of uh, sort of feels like watching a, a movie almost. All right, sweethearts, let's get started. Capricorn. Capricorn with the spirit animal for Capricorn. Wow. Golden egg. Amazing. This is a brand new opportunity, Capricorn. It's uh, you're being protected. This is really a time of abundance. It's a time of dreaming because you're going through this cycle, like this transformation and what comes out of this golden egg is golden opportunities. Goodness. Wow, Capricorn, amazing. I'm seeing literally like this pillar of golden light and it goes through your physical body vessel. So it's like this, it's like you're this like walking avatar almost Capricorn. Wow, it's so powerful. That's amazing. I'm really excited for you. Like <laughs> people are applauding you. There's something that you're talking about too, very um, very passionately. Aries. Oh, the Phoenix. You always get it, darling. This is a complete rebirth, Aries. A brand new beginning. Wow. Look at this. The you know the month is bringing in this new season, the actual rising, right? From the ashes, this is that moment of glory, Aries, that sense of freedom where you realize, wow, you've done the work, you have transformed. That's amazing. You're, you're literally feeling like on top of the world on fire. This month, the energies are just propelling you forward. Cap I was going to say Capricorn, Aries, Taurus, Golden Egg as well. Oh my gosh. Everyone's just having a great month. Well, ain't that good? Um, so these are the energies, you know, of the spirit animals that are aligning us. Taurus, this is a brand new beginning. You're, what you're working on is very important, very prevalent. It's bringing in abundance. It's bringing in change, um, you know, it, it, and synchronicity. That there's something that you're very masterful at, and you know, it's it feels this is very lucky for you too. I'm getting Taurus, like a lucky break. Yeah, so much gold for you, Taurus. Amazing. Beautiful. Virgo. The dragon. These are these are like all made the major major uh, cards of this deck. Virgo, trusting your intuition, sweetheart. You have dragon guides with you. This could be really amazing dreams. Uh, connecting with, you know, different spirit realms and just seeing clearly. The dragon, you know, revitalizes the energy force as well. This is awakening energy. Amazing, amazing. If things feel like they're moving slowly, Virgo, they're actually moving like at the speed of light, like quicker than you realize. It's like sometimes, you know, it's like you'll see time in this different, you're seeing time in a different way than Libra. Libra, you got two, the peacock and the zebra. You got the zebra. So that's what I was seeing right at the start of the, of the reading and literally like seeing like this you know it's this rainbow vision keeping your eye on the prize and and it's going to change it's like this you know it's like the lines of the zebra it's just like flicker you know suddenly you're just like wow new scene new setting or new sense of emotions right it's like and this came up in your love reading as well of staying to the plan and you look beautiful darling you look absolutely gorgeous it's all eyes on you for the simple fact that you're glowing you're vibrant you're beautiful libra this is amazing so really you know own it right enjoy it shine sweethearts yeah i can somebody's like wearing like it's like you know like the kimono ah, okay <laughs> yeah very nice okay um sagittarius two cards as well the shark and this one, sad. Ooh, okay. So this is like a twin flame, true love, follow your heart type of energy. Reflection energy, right? That divine flow, inner peace, very protective of all that you love. And the shark in this particular deck is about circling. You know, I feel like someone's got their eye on you, Sagittarius. Like, a, you know, it's like this love opportunity. Um, 
the shark of course is a predator as well so i would say you know like just sort of you know check in with everything that you love you know and just sort of um protect everything that you love yeah <laughs> sad it's interesting because i also get the sense that this is a bit of like a spirit animal for somebody that has their you know their intentions for you for your love and they're just like you look amazing like this beautiful swan to them Sagittarius <laughs> very passionate energy darlings all right um Aquarius butterfly complete transformation and again just looking absolutely beautiful this is about flying being true to you being unique and making the most of the time the butterfly lives but yet today you know what is that saying by T.S. Eliot gosh I love that poem the butterfly it lives but a day. Oh my goodness, I know it and I haven't said it in so many years. I lives but yet a day, but has lived eternity. You know, it's basically like you're living, you're living your life, Aquarius. You're making the most of it and just being you. Yeah. Also, Aquarius, it's really funny how I've noticed in the past two readings I've said Aries by mistake. So there's this energy about going forward, like Aries is very much about the I am, I can. And I think that again, that shows up with the butterfly. It's like, I am, you know, the butterfly, you are you, Aquarius, beautiful you. And really taking that, that action step forward. Uh, so let's go for Leo. Leo for the month of June. 2021, who's your spirit animal? I, I saw the tiger when I looked down. Let's see. The otter. Friendship. Oh, that's very cozy and very nice, Leo. It feels like, you know, this is camaraderie, um, people that you can trust, that you feel close to. There's like this real heart connection, you know, it just feels good. You feel centered. You feel safe. That's very beautiful. Um, I'm seeing like a moth as well, which is... Uh, you know, it's like you're sort of just watching things float or move by, but you've got you've got spirit on your side, or you've got a companion, or you've got family, or you've got your pets, you've got nature that you just you feel very you feel loved, you know, from within. That's that's gorgeous. Okay, Scorpio, Stingray, gorgeous. Complete awakening, Scorpio. You really have been diving the depths, going through that transformation, and not in this loud, exuberant way, but in this way that you're just working with the elements, right? Gliding through, and look at this, all chakras aligned. You know, there's been this massive change, this energy shift in the conscious collective, and you've really, I'm seeing 808 on the screen, being like a guiding force in this, because you have this mastery, this know-how of how to do this. Like, you've been doing this for years, you know, it's like, it's like finally the collective's caught up with your Scorpio, right? And so it's just like suddenly it's like the pieces are coming together and you're able to really align to your soul purpose, your destiny, and, and things are changing. It feels very nice because you're able to go with this flow and it just, it feels good within. It feels, it's like you're in your power. Um, speak, speaking a lot of words too, I'm seeing being quite sort of uh, theatrical, which was very nice. Like singing songs, Scorpio, or you know, perhaps making a you know a YouTube channel, something like that. You know, speaking things into existence. Yeah, very cool. All right, um, Gemini, dolphin. Fun times ahead. It makes sense because it's your birthday. This is all about friends and having fun. It's time to have fun, says the dolphin. Dolphin is play. It's um. You are very intelligent. You are very smart. You you know, you make people laugh. They love being around you, Gemini. And so it's really about like really, you know, enjoying you, enjoying your time in the sun, making those wishes, right? Because everyone wants the best for you. They want to see you happy. They want to see you smile. Everyone loves the dolphin. Gemini is just how it is. So have fun and play. This is a this is a card of, of play. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. 
Pants are, oh, straight away. Look at you, beauty. Shining like peacock over here. All the eyes on you, Cancer. And you know, it's funny because I sort of got that, this message earlier today. I thought of a friend of mine who's Cancer and my aunt is Cancer as well. And I just was like, made me smile because I'm like, Cancer, like, I'm just, yeah, right. Like, everyone's sort of thinking about you. Like, you're just sort of crossing people's minds. They're remembering the good times they have with you and they just think you're beautiful. And they're like, they're just so grateful, Cancer. That you know that you're in their life, and yeah, enjoy enjoy being you. This is very lovely. Uh, dressing up, uh, you know, just having fun. Everyone loves your charisma, so yeah, flaunt it. Have fun, sweethearts. <laughs> okay. Let's see Pisces. Already I got um, a lot of communication coming through. The crocodile and the eagle. Amazing. So the crocodile, very protective, very dreamy. Um, oh, I can hear my phone ringing. So, you know, this feels like calls coming through. The eagle, it's like going, staying with your, your focus. You, this is the, the, that's what I saw at the front, at the start, front, start of the reading. The hawk or the eagle, yeah? It's like you're seeing the bigger picture finally. There was something submerged that you weren't quite clear of. And now you're like, aha, uh -huh. it's brought this into the light of day. And you just feel like you're, uh, you know, it's like this beautiful balance, right? One's right completely under the water. The other's like on the sun. It's like this, you see like this, like, it's like yin-yang symbol or this, um, you know, divine balance. It's like you feel in flow. You don't, you, you don't have fear. You know, it's like Pisces, you feel, you feel good. You feel like things are turning in your favor. You feel like you can see things clearly. It's like this element of fear or like this energy is being removed. Like it just, it's like you've stepped into this whole new timeline. Very dreamy. A, a lot of uh, connection with spirit guides. Um, seeing pieces of the puzzle come together, like over the entire frame of your life, uh, you know. Just sort of seeing how it makes sense, seeing things in a different way that other people see them, and 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 knowing that that's such a gift, and holding that very dear, beautiful. A lot of uh, spiritual knowledge, like um, ancient e Egyptian knowledge, with the crocodile as well. Um, and knowing you're on the right path, yeah, lovely. Twelve twenty-four, and I said that. I'm seeing like bells, like, um, where, do I have a bell here? No. But it's like, uh, sound frequency is very nice. So someone's like, excuse me. <laughs> Ta -da -da -da. <laughs> have we done all the signs? Um, have I done all the signs, sweethearts? Who am I forgetting? Anyone? By the way, that was my friend who's a cancer that called. He heard me thinking about how great he is and how much fun and how beautiful cancer's looking. It's it's interesting, you know, that we really see how powerful our thoughts are, especially with this like Jupiter in um, Pisces placement right now. Um, like a sense of telepathy, like very quick, very lucky, very, very vibrant. Um, okay, so did I go through all the signs, Stalins? Am I leaving anyone out? I need, I need my list, let me see. So I am going to be doing your love readings. Thank you so much for your support for the channel, darlings. Um, remember to check that subscribe and thumbs up. And I look forward to that. I'm going to do two or three of your love readings. So Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Cap, Aquarius, Pisces. Yeah, you're all there. See, I don't forget anyone. I don't forget anyone. It's like having children and you, you, you know, you don't want to don't forget anyone. <laughs> Sending you guys all the love and light. Have a beautiful month. I look forward to your love readings and your highest time re line readings here on Crystal Communications. Ciao for now, darlings.